Seattle's contribution to popular music is undisputed. You know the names from Hendrix to Hart, Pearl Jam, Macklemore, and many, many more in between. In this series, we're going to examine Seattle's music community in depth with unique performances, with interviews, and much, much more. We're also going to find out what makes Seattle, Seattle, and what makes this city on the shores of the Puget Sound one of the best places on the planet for music. Welcome to Sounds by the Sound. Let's rock and roll. Welcome to another episode of Sounds by the Sound. Today, I'm gonna learn just as much as you because today's show is about fashion, which fashion is no stranger to Seattle. Fashion just clearly a stranger to me, so I'm extra excited for today's episode. Back in the early 90s, Seattle unexpectedly became the center of the fashion world as the clothes reflected what was happening here musically. Sure, you can still find flannels in town, but these days, Seattle designers and outlets are at the forefront of everything, high fashion, the sneakerhead culture. We're also going to meet up with a Seattle hip hop artist named Ryan Caraveo at a store called Do the Extraordinary. Talk about his new music. Ryan's also going to perform for us. We'll also introduce you to a Seattle fashion line called Prairie Underground. They're based out of Georgetown. But first, we're at Pipe and Row, an amazing store here in Seattle's Fremont neighborhood, which, as you can see, is incredible. Everything in here is absolutely gorgeous. When you tell people that you got something from Pipe and Row, they're just like, oh, yeah, I can tell. That's very nice. I, I did not get this from Pipe and Row. I'm clearly a horrible snob. <laughs> Mazer is the name of the band we are going to introduce you to right now. They're going to talk. They're going to play some music. Let's get started with that. It sounds by the sound. Hey, we're Mazer, and this song is called Fata Mirage.
lead singer of the band Mazer, Katie Blackstock, is also a model who's dabbled in design herself. We caught up with her and the rest of Mazer at Pipe and Row in Seattle's Fremont neighborhood. Hello. Hello. So this is a fashion episode of our show Sounds by the Sound. What is in line with your fashion sensibility? I buy a lot of my stuff secondhand. Yeah. And I like to come to places like this to get really classic pieces, like mm -hmm. simple things like this. Absolutely. I buy a lot of my jewelry kind of vintage, but I think it's nice to find simple classic pieces. There's no doubt that uh, for you guys, music is the number one priority. Like, mm -hmm. mu music is up here. Where does fashion kind of come in as far as a level of importance? Is it something that you pay much attention to? Is it something that just comes naturally? That's just kind of part of it for me. It's kind of, of, especially all the performance, it's kind of all in one, rolls all together. But I think I feel better and I yep. feel more confident when I feel like I'm expressing myself. Yeah, you want to take a look uh, kind, of, kind of over here at mm -hmm. some of the stuff? And this is secretly why I'm coming over here is because I saw these sunglasses ah. and I just wanted to wear these for the rest of the time. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Those you know, th this interview just got 10 times more fun. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, absolutely. Just way cooler, <laughs> yeah, too. Exactly. The Pacific Northwest is unique in so many different ways. Is there anything that sticks out from a fashion sense here in the Pacific Northwest to you, like a certain look? Well, practically, we have to layer a lot. So that's something I definitely try to incorporate uh -huh. and spice up a little bit. I mean, you don't know what the weather's going to do. So mm -hmm. scarves and hats and, I mean, I have this and this and just left a little. Wow, that's like a secret yeah. party underneath that jacket. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. So Pipe and Row here in the Fremont neighborhood is an amazing store. It's so great. Are there any other stores that you like in and around town, whether or not it's super high quality, nice stuff like this, or whether or not it's a favorite thrift store that you like to buy things second hand? Definitely all the thrift stores. Mm -hmm. um, I really like Prism and Ballard as well. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Clap. Hi guys. Hi. How are Hello. you? First of all, thanks for putting on sunglasses. And you guys were not from Seattle, but you had stopped in Seattle a bunch of times on tour mm -hmm. and took a liking to it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Katie's from Seattle. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm from Tel Aviv, from Israel. Very nice. I did uh, my first national tour and uh, I found the Northwest to be the most awesome place to I agree with you. And to, uh, to live in. And uh, when these guys came here with, on tour, they, they thought the same, so we moved here. Any specific reasons? Was it the fact there's trees and there's beautiful mountains? That too, that, that, that too. But, but really, really, it's the people. Cool. You feel that energy and support for music. I love that. That's great. You have an EP called Dreams. Yes. What did you guys want to do with this group of songs? Well, I think they're all very different as a whole. It kind of shows our diversity sure. as a band and the different styles of music that we want to play. What styles are those specifically? It's very open where we, we approach a song where it's going to go. Yeah. It can, it can be anything and that's we kind of keep it that way. We have pretty much over a hundred songs and we just have to choose the first few to put on out there. And, uh, can't wait to do the next one. But this one just came out last week, so really excited. Yeah, it's very, very cool. You did a music video for the song Roar. You released the EP. Um, you can buy it on CD, but there's a track on the CD that you can play on a record player. Mm -hmm. Where did that idea come from? I've never heard of that before. Everything is digital today. Mm -hmm. We want to have a physical release. Sure. And, uh, this EP is just too long for a seven inch, a little too short for 12 inch. So yeah. we still want to do something like that. So we found a guy that can cut Vinyl on a CD. It's such a, it's it's such a good idea. Like, oh, it's so funny. Yeah, yeah the first fine. time you put it, like, it's gonna work. We put the needle on it. That's, <laughs> That's cool. You put a CD on a turntable. So, what are the plans for the future? You mentioned that uh, the EP just came out, but it also seems like you guys have a lot of songs and getting ready for a full length. Is that is that right? Yeah, yeah, definitely touring and more recording, just being together and, Very and cool. making that magic. It is Mazer and it is Sounds by the Sound. Welcome back to Sounds by the Sound. Right now we're gonna head to a store called Do the Extraordinary and introduce you to a Seattle hip hop artist named Ryan Caraveo. We'll talk about his new music. He will perform for us as well. Here's Ryan right now. You're watching Sounds by the Sound. What's going on? I'm Ryan Caraveo and this song is called Legend. Nobody sticks together. No one believes tradition. 
people leaving, quitting. Now I never see persistence. I see the good, the bad, and people who don't see the difference. I do not wish to be like you, so we should keep some distance. Cause see, for instance, love should be just instant. Even infants comprehend it. Tell me why you preach against it. Oh, you too egotistic to even seek assistance. Well, if you can't be consistent, you might as well cease existence. I was raised by a queen, but she worked like a slave. And yeah, she taught me to mean every word that I say. Taught me to treat people right, cause I deserved what I gave. Now I want nothing but perfect in every verse that I lay. My mama did some things for money, yeah? So what if she did? She did what she had to do, so we had a place to live. She put food up on that table, so we had a grace to give. Yeah, them bands will make her dance, cause them bands will feed the kids. And I ain't ashamed of that, not ashamed of that. I repeat myself, I bring it back. I could lie to you and try to hide the truth, but tell me what part of the game is that? No, I came to work, I came to work. I run that game till my ankles hurt. She the reason I stand tall today. Damn right to give thanks to her. No, I don't know just where I'm gonna be or what I'm gonna be doing in another year or three. All I know, all I know is I'll be far from where I'm at. Gonna live to be a legend. Yeah, I'm down to die for that. I don't know, I don't know just where I'm gonna be or what I'm gonna be doing in another year or three. All I know, all I know is I'll be far from where I'm at. Gonna live to be a legend. Yeah, I'm down to die for that. Yeah. I see you try to fit in, I see the separation I've heard about your dreams, I see no preparation You talk about success like it's just a destination Wishing every day for something doesn't count as dedication Dedicated to you basic headed bougie bitches Head too high to smell the roses, nails too clean to do the dishes I hollered, but you acted way too cool to listen. Now I get to taste revenge. I swear that it, it is too delicious. Cause now I'm elevated. You still get elevated. Your life is not progressing, but yet you celebrate it. Still live that same old same life. Still getting medicated. Still living day to day like nothing's premeditated. Like you the baddest with your eyes low. Tripping with a child at home. Sitting while you styrofoam. Sipping, coming home is strange men. Why he lie alone and listen Then wake up and go to work And deny his whole existence Ish. Where the dreams at Yeah, that's where my team's at And we gonna change the world Yeah, I really mean that So, until then you can find me in my zone And that's where I stay Even if it means I die alone I don't know, I don't know Just where I'm gonna be Or what I'm gonna be doing In another year or three All I know, all I know is I'll be far from where I'm at Gonna live to be a legend Yeah, I'm down to die for that I don't know, I don't know Just where I'm gonna be Or what I'm gonna be doing In another year or three All I know, all I know is I'll be far from where I'm at Gonna live to be a legend Yeah, I'm down to die for that Let's go Yeah. We are in downtown Seattle at a great store called Do the Extraordinary with a great Seattle hip hop artist, Ryan Carveo. What's up, man? Veo? Carveo? Carveo. Carveo. That's what I said, I think. That's all good. You okay. can leave it there. <laughs> Most people don't say it right. It's yeah, like... exactly. Here's what I do know, Ryan. Your dad was a military guy. He was. And you moved all around. I did. But you stuck in the Pacific Northwest. You yeah. chose to stay here after stopping here. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you stay in Seattle? When I was growing up, my mom always lived here. And so when I was, you know, moving from city to city with my dad, I would always come here to visit. I've always loved it, you know, more than anything else. I think mainly for that reason, because I've always had family here. And, you know, I just kind of grew up here, essentially. Aside from the family part, is there anything yeah. real special about this area that you love as far as the culture or the, or yeah. the, the, the surroundings? Absolutely. Everyone's a, a super big weirdo here, and I really like that. Yeah. You can be comfortable here being, being your inner weirdo. Man, fresh and I still rep the Northwest to the death as I will. I do not stress, I invest and I build. Move with aggression, but question was real. When did you start making music? I started recording music when I was really, really young, like, Second, third grade, uh, me and my older brother would battle, right? When I was a kid, we had Windows 98. It's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just plugged the mic into the computer and we battled on sound recorder. And then in eighth grade, I actually started recording my own music, uh, you know, just in the basement with a setup my older brother had, because mm -hmm. he was, you know, he kind of got me into it. Um, and then in middle school, I actually started, you know, selling my music and, you know, getting CDs and, yeah. and making a little bit of money. 
any Pacific Northwest musicians that you really kind of gravitated towards or just you were a fan of that helped your music out? Growing up, I was very, very um, inspired by Blue Scholars, mm -hmm. Common Market, Boom Bat Project, Gray School, Greaves, um, just this whole Northwest collective. You made a big announcement this spring to be at Sasquatch. Yes. Which is one of, if not the premier Northwest yeah. music festival. Yeah. Well, how excited are you to play Sasquatch? Man, I'm very, very excited. I've been, as soon as it happened, I called every single person I knew, any people, you know, Everyone who's ever known I've made music, you know, from five years, hey, guess what I'm doing? Sure. You know, it's cool to be able to get to, you know, flex a little bit and, you know, brag about that. How about the record? Can you tell us about the record? The album that I'm working on now is some some of the best music I've ever made. Awesome. You know, both sonically and creatively. How are you growing so as an artist? I think that one of the biggest challenges as an artist is when something works for you, not try to replicate it just because it works. Yeah. And when something is working really well, you still have to challenge yourself as an artist and do something wildly different that may not work for you because it's it's a challenge for you. And so, so I'd awesome. say, yeah, I'd say that's one of the biggest things right now. Okay, thanks for being yeah, here. Thank you, man. Congratulations on all the music. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Watch the sounds by the sound. <laughs> it sounds by the sound. We are in the Sneaker Wars Unity Tour. Let's go take a look at some fancy shoes. The Yeezy Pirate Black. Worth every penny. It's worth about six to eight hundred. Chris Paul, PE. This one was inspired by Kendrick Lamar's album, uh, To Pimp a Butterfly. Freddy Krueger, Air Force One. This is a ZB custom as well, Nightmare on Elm Street. This is a sneaker villain custom right here. And the signature of a sneaker villain is right there. We did this for Schoolboy Q. The album cover of Schoolboy Q on the back. One of his logos. Super dope. My name is Shantae Kennedy and we are here at the Sneaker Wars Unity Expo. This is the first of uh, 10 cities that we're trying to do around the 50 states, and what we're trying to do uh, ultimately is to get 100,000 pair of shoes donated worldwide. We teamed up with the charity Souls for Souls, and this is what it's all about, about donating back. We take new shoes, we take old shoes. Awesome. This all goes, like I said, to the charity Souls for Souls, and we also teamed up with the website UBID, which has a sponsorship division more towards donations, uh, UBID Give, and so on UBIT Give, we're having an online auction. We have autographed shoes from Earl Thomas. We have a pair of autographed shoes from Michael Jordan. And just all different uh, athletes and entertainers around the world who are donating worn shoes or game-worn shoes and uh, jerseys. And we'll auction those off on the website. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Absolutely. I'm going to go shoe shopping. Uh, I, I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> I got some points. Like, this is fun and all, but I really want to check out some shoes. Sounds by the sound. There are shoes that cost more at that place, and I pay for rent every day. That place is incredible. Thanks for letting us hang out. Right now, we're going to head to Seattle's Georgetown neighborhood to introduce you to a Seattle clothing line called Prairie Underground. Like so many things in Seattle, it's not just one thing. It's not just a clothing line. It's a clothing line that fully collaborates with the Seattle's arts community, the Seattle activist community. It's a super interesting place. They are super great people. Here's Prairie Underground. Can you talk about maybe what the goal is here, or what is it really that you guys do? The clothing is first and foremost, is what Prairie Underground is about. The way we approach being in business is really more like the way a studio artist approaches a career, sort of like creating things in small batches, a really artisanal approach, doing things small. Those are all things that we represent. Part of the reason we chose Seattle to start the business was because there's a history here of manufacturing with North Face and REI and a lot of other outerwear companies. So the infrastructure already existed, which was really amazing. Yeah, there are not that many cities in the U.S. anymore that have that. But also, we've had a lot of support from the community. It's a supportive environment. Cool. This is an amazing space. This is huge. It looks like it's fully functional. We do have a tremendous luxury of space here and feel a responsibility and a privilege to be able to share that with the community. Can we walk around a little bit? Sure. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd love to see more for sure. So where are we right now and what happens in this room right there? This is our pattern library, okay. and um, this is our history of all of our patterns since day one. Which way should we go? Can we go, go up? upstairs? Yeah, go up. That's our sample set. So that's the set that goes out to the showroom and, and all over the country to different boutiques to buy the collection. One more thing before we wrap up. Something caught my eye, and this just looked like art displays here. It is. This is sort of the landing spot for Prairie. We kind of went uh, sort of, you know, in terms of product development back to our entryway and, and sort of conceive of this space as a gallery space, a rotating gallery space as well as a little bit of a showroom. 
But primarily what this space is, is focused on right now is an, an exhibit, the third in our, our ongoing artist series, you know, to promote local artists and Pacific Northwest space artists. It's just it's been an amazing experience. Thank you so much for having us. Thank Absolutely, you. for sure. Thanks for watching this episode of Sounds by the Sound. A special thank you to Prairie Underground for having us by their spot in Georgetown. Thanks to Ryan Carabeo for hanging out and performing. Here's another performance from Mazer at Pipe and Row in Seattle's Fremont neighborhood. Again, that's where we are right now. It's beautiful in here. Sounds by the Sound. Hey, we're Mazer and the song is called Creek Wedding.